So here's my new Milwaukee power tool set. When it was delivered, it was so heavy, my dad had to use his old tractor to lift it and put it inside. But we'll have to figure a way to get it in the car and bring it home. So we got the box back to the garage. I'll just show you all the tools that are contained within the box. And the box is heavy. I would bet, guess close to 100 pounds. So we're just going to kind of do an unboxing. We're going to look at each and individual component and uh, just draw some general conclusions. So let's get at it. All right, let's see what we got. I guess our first up is the fan. Looks like three speeds on the front here. Um, there's a spot to plug in uh, an external power if you want. Very simple, just two power plugs here. And what, what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'll set these aside, and then once we get the batteries out, uh, we'll come back and we'll plug them in and, and see what we have with them. Here's a blower, uh, and it comes with these neat accessories. So if you want to pump up an air mattress, that would be what that one's for. If you have a big inner tube, that one that's for. In here you can just get a large volume of air. So all it does is come on here and twist on. And then if you want one of the other settings, you put it on like that. There is also a multi-segment. So if you just want a quick little airflow, you can put that on if you need an extension for it. Like uh, as you're walking, you want to be close to the ground, you can use the other one. All right, in this box we have a whole bunch of instruction manuals. Looks like every one for every item here. Which brings up a good issue. Instruction manuals. Everything is online nowadays. It's quicker to Google uh, instruction manual than it is to try to remember where you put them. So, I don't know. Reply in the comments down here whether it's even worthwhile to save instructions manuals anymore. Yeah, it's a little grab bag. It's got uh, sanding sponges. It's got a saw blade. So here we have an AC-DC adapter. Probably use it for the fan or uh, maybe the charger. <laughs> How much money do you think all that would cost? I would guess the price of a nice luxury car. Two gallon wet dry vacuum. Be bad in this stack of instruction books. So here we go. One big button on top. A couple quick latches. Looks like uh in here, you put your battery in here, and uh, you have your hose that you can pull out. That's like another attachment here. And it looks like if you want to use the blower, you can use this end here, or intake here. I am not seeing a plug-in for external, so it looks like this is only internal, or battery operated. So that's what the underside looks like with a filter and... This is just an empty box to hold all your suck up ins. All right, so we'll put that aside. More instructions. This one came with a couple of double AAA batteries in it. So this is a job site radio. It's big, it's heavy. So in here you have a, an auxiliary plug in for a phone. There's also a USB jack back here to plug in your device. You have a battery slot here on the bottom and also an external cord. The one thing I don't know is if this cord actually will charge the battery while it's plugged in. So that's one thing I want to find out. Hmm. I think we found ourselves a spacer. Nothing in there. Now, oh, here's the next item. 
a bag completely heavy and full of something. Here are a lot of tools. So we have a hammer drill, a half inch impact. Here's just a driver with a nice little belt hook on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but everything in here has kind of got its own little um, either cardboard or egg carton type setup. So I like this. I think I will leave these items in here. Here are the two impact wrenches, and they're both half inch. So this one's smaller, probably for uh, lighter work, get into different shorter spots where this thing looks like it's fairly heavy duty and uh, uh, like if you need to do lug nuts or something where you don't care about space, this one will do you. All right, in the bottom, we have our Sawzall, typical. Looks like there's a slide on the side here for a quick release of the blade. Um, we'll look at that a little more once we get the batteries out. Speaking of batteries, XCC C3s. And right out of the box, one bar for that one. We're going to have to find the charger if that's the case. Also one bar. So the message here is don't pull this out at the job site and think you're going to start working right away because the batteries are dead. On the bottom here we have right angle, really nice long push button. And here's the angle grinder. Interesting. There's a little slide here that has to come down with your finger before you can pull the trigger. So you can't accidentally start this thing. Oh, I misspoke. This comes with four batteries. All the same size. The three milliamp hours. One bar. They're all almost dead. The charger that we have coming is really cool. And we'll get to see that in action with all four of these batteries. An extra bag. Of little things in here. All right, let's start with this the battery charger. So, this is supposed to be a six sequential battery charger. It looks like uh, here's a it looks like a record button. I don't know if that's a charge pause button or what it is. So, you got your six battery ports around the side here. Um, you also have the ability to hang this on the wall, like that. And you have your regular wall outlet with an extra plug in the backside. Let's get this plugged in so we can get some batteries charging. Plug this in. I don't know if there's any special order this has to go to. Looks like they are blinking all the way around. I don't know what that button does. <clears throat> I do see this one, the light is on. So I don't know if that means this is the one that's currently being charged. Could be. But we'll let that go for a while. What cordless power tool set would be complete without a drill? Now this does have a hammer in it too. Hammer drill screw. With a multi speed selection on top. So here's the random orbital sander. Here's the dust collector on it. I'm assuming it just pops in like this. Battery slides in there. On off switch. And then speed is slide with your thumb here. Just a work light. Really simple. Little trigger, a ratcheting head. Cut, you got your depth adjuster here. I did see the blade. So it does come with blade. It's good. Um, 
allow you to get through two by fours all the way. My uh, other circular saw only got like a five inch, five and something inch blade, and it can barely cut through uh, inch and a half two by four. And sometimes it'll leave a little sliver that you got to kind of crack off when you're done. So this is nice to get a little bigger one. Last but not least, sight unseen. I think this is the oscillating saw. It's the last one. And there you, what do you know? There you are. One thing I do notice is Milwaukee tools don't really have a similarity of the on off switches. So this one is just a slide up and down. Whereas if we grab a very similar size tool, so here's the right angle drill and it's an entire big trigger here. There is no safety here. You just pull the whole thing in. And the, I, this could have easily been that same trigger. Don't know why it's not. And then you go to the right angle grinder you have the safety and the big trigger. So, three very similar sized tools, three very different ways of triggering them. Just a strap for the bag itself if you want to carry it over your shoulder. All right, so this one is now at two bars. Bars that's how much it's charged while we've been here. Um, let's look at something as simple as the light. Pull the trigger on, off. Very simple, big deal. Put that back in the bag. Hammer drill. Mmm. I know you guys can't smell this, but this is the exact same smell that I got when I was a child. My Tyco race car set. That just had electric motor and plastic. Mmm, yeah. There. I don't know if you guys can smell it. Um, since we're not driving anything, I uh, can't really show you the hammer functionality, um, but that would just be the selector right here. Pretty straightforward. Everybody's used these things. No big deal. All right. This is one that interests me. Not huge. Let's um, put the extensions on. Let's see. There is some dirt on the floor. So yes, it does move here. There's going to be no substitution for a leaf blower. You're not going to be able to get those big piles moving with this thing. All right, let's look at the random orbital. And here's another example of different style switching. This one you push all the way through. I mean, yeah, these are switches. It's not rocket science. But it's just, you almost feel like it was a different engineering and stylist that did each one of these tools. Better or worse. Um, since the charger has its own cord, I'm going to assume this power supply is for the fan, which we can look at next. It is moving some here. I mean, this is no substitution for a big box fan. Um, at the lowest setting here, I could probably blow harder with my lungs than this is blowing. But if you need to get a little air moving around the job site, this will probably do you. Angle drill. So a nice speed control. The angle grinder 
we are going to need some parts for it. Oh, this is for the sander to connect it to a external vacuum system. Just a little extension adapter. Fence for the circular saw. I assume this is for the hammer drill for depth. Don't know. Let's look at the reciprocating saw next. Yeah, that works really nice. I don't have the blade on the circular saw yet. Looks like it comes with a Allen wrench in here that you put in there to put the blade on. And there's a lock right here for the... Got beat by the different user interfaces. So on some of these tools, you push this in so you can pull this trigger. This one, you pull it down. So once again, <laughs> yeah, foiled by the different user interfaces on all these tools. But anyways, there it is. Works fine. I just didn't know what I was doing. So this one has a sliding switch, a safety. You take the safety off, it runs without having to push anything. Uh, we need a blade. Let's get on this side so you can see better. Just slide that down, blade goes in, locks in. Really nice. I like that. With this blade, it gets too long to be in the, the case. Slide it up, pull it up, move on. All right, let's look at the vacuum, see how much suction power it has. We're going to do this by battery alone because I can guarantee that uh, I'm going to use my plug-in shop vac if I have to be tethered. I'm not going to be using this thing. Oh. Let's see if we can find some dirt in the corner here. So for the vacuum, you know, it is what it is. It'll probably work fine for just some light cleanup, but it is probably a quarter as powerful as a plug-in uh, shop vac. So just keep that in mind. So the last thing we're going to look at is the job site radio. Oh, great. Brings back the days of the VCR, a flashing time. If I set this and I take the battery out, that time better still work. Good bass. Wow, that is really loud. MFM auxiliary. Don't tell me this doesn't have Bluetooth in it. Who would ever have a shop or job site radio that doesn't have Bluetooth? All right, I'm going to have to look into this more, but that's disturbing if this doesn't have Bluetooth. My phone doesn't even have an auxiliary output. Not only mention it, it's nice to have your phone in your pocket. So you have a remote control to control the, which song is playing. I do know that you can get uh, adapters you know, Bluetooth adapters that I could probably put in here that would give me Bluetooth and put it on the aux port, but hmm, that's disappointing. Just for an example, here's my old Craftsman. Uh, and if you look at them on the top, it has FM, AM, aux, and Bluetooth. So when you choose the mo mode, you can have your Bluetooth. Once again, disappointing. All right, so here's your standard driver. This will probably get used the most. It's light, compact. So one of the reasons I want to do this is I think this is a common problem for everybody. We have purchased battery-operated tools in the past. Maybe some of them are NICAD-based. This, this brand-new uh, Milwaukee set is lithium-ion. You know, this is the best technology out there. Milwaukee has a very good name in the power tools, so that's one reason why I wanted to go with that. If you look back here... I have a set of Craftsman, and I've even upgraded to lithium, the lithium-ion batteries. And I really like my Craftsman set, and I will probably use this set for a long time. Um, I'll probably move it down to the cabin uh, garage, and it'll just be my set of tools that I use there when I need tools. One thing that I'm always disappointed is the lack of support. Uh, when they change from one form factor to another form factor, you know, the old tools don't work. Your NICAD batteries can't get replaced very easily with the lithium ion. That's one thing the Craftsman did really well is their lithium ion batteries pet plugged directly in, no problems. All their old nickel cadmium 
uh, product. So that's really nice. One of the hard things is there's not a complete set of tools uh, for everything. Um, I think Craftsman's getting pretty good. Uh, they don't have an outdoor riding lawnmower yet, uh, or even a push uh, lawnmower. And so if you want that, then you got to go to a, a, an Ego or something else. Although based on this, just the sheer quantity here of different products that Milwaukee has, I feel fairly confident that they're going to continue to support their M18 line and keep adding tools to it as time goes. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting things like a, a router or a, a framing nailer. I think those will be a nice addition to the set. Uh, Craftsman does not support the same platform that I have anymore. So my options as far as getting like a framing nailer for that didn't exist. It wasn't going to happen. Um, there were a few other options, you know, um, like a Makita or a DeWalt. And uh, I'm sure those are very, really good brands. I just like this, the fact that you could buy this entire set. It was $2,000, so it was not uh, inexpensive by any means. But I think it gives me a great platform to start with. Uh, a nice charger with four shot or uh, four three milliamp hours. So, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, as we're doing Dylan's garage episodes and completing uh, this garage, and you know, if you haven't been following my series, please uh, like and subscribe so that you can follow as we're finishing this uh, area in here. Um, but I will be using the new Milwaukee uh, set of tools fairly heavily as we go through here and uh, addition of more tools as we go. So that's the goal. That's the reason I bought this. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody's going through the same problem of, you know, you might have a Black & Decker set or a Craftsman set or a DeWalt set. And the batteries, none of them are compatible with each other. <clears throat> However, in the future, we'll probably be doing uh, some videos about adapters. Um, I do have an adapter at home <clears throat> that adapts my Black & Decker tools from the old NICAD batteries to allow you to use new lithium-ion batteries uh, on those tools. And it works great. Um, so if, if you do have a set of tools that uh, your batteries are nickel-cadmium and they're all shot, and you're thinking, gee, I need to buy an entire uh, tool set. You don't. You, uh, there are adapters out there. Um, you can get both sides. So you can get just pieces of plastic that have this form factor on them. And then you could get pieces of plastic that have this form factor on them. So that you could do something like that. I mean, there are lots of options when it comes to 18-volt uh, systems. So, you know, my Milwaukee here and my Craftsman are both 18-volt systems. They work. They just need a positive and negative. That's it. Um, so we'll be looking at uh, maybe getting some adapters to run uh, <clears throat> my Craftsman tools with the Milwaukee batteries because you don't want to have to keep buying different batteries all the time. Um, I think from now on, uh, I'm going to be a Milwaukee man, and everything, every tool that I buy will be for that. 